Greetings from Phantom's Gate. Dark Prince plays here. Lend the Crimson Rise on another episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. In the last episode, I made it here, or I made it to Cantalave City and also explored the, the town, and also made it here to the Iron Island where I obtained an egg, a Riolu egg, but I'm not really going to be using it because the more important thing that happened is I obtained a shiny stone and also er, and evolved Allison from Roselia into Rose Raid. And this time, I'm going to be heading back to Cantalave City to take on our sixth, sixth gym here in the in the Sinnoh region. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you're watching this one so you're caught up with everything, everything that's happened up to this point. And if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe so you get more Let's Play videos like this one. And okay. So now that we did all that, I believe we're at full health, right? Okay. I just really needed to check the PP of um, the Giga Drain because that was like the main move I, I was using. Now with the steel body, and in we go. Yeah, this gym is might be a bit complicated for some people, but with trial and error, then or with trial and error, this one's not that hard. Hey there, champ to be. This, the gym leader here uses steel type Pokemon. Steel type Pokemon have a high defense, so you'll have to hit them hard. Or you just use special special attacks instead. Steel represents an unbending spirit. If you never give up, the path to victory reveals itself. See, a lot of the trainers in here are going to use Pokemon like Steelix. Yeah, Ricky, wait, that's a bit of a coinkadink. Only a bit. Yeah, as I said, Steelix. I, okay, I... I know I said it has high defense, but I just want to see how much damage this does. Yeah, even even though it's super effective, Steelix has crazy defense. Special defense, not so much. Whopper grew to level 36. never give up, but I still, still I failed to win. Okay, um, buh, 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 buh. I know that if you take the wrong one, you'll have to fight trainers, but my intention anyways is to fight all the trainers. Up and down you go on the lifts. Me, I like to battle. Booker Jackson. Okay, yeah. Since there aren't a whole like abundance of steel type Pokemon, like there, there's gonna be a lot of repeats and also, yeah, some Pokemon that aren't even steel types. Okay. And then Surf should just obliterate this thing. I'm kind of surprised how many of these Onyxes don't have sturdy. But I guess this was back in Gen 4 before Sturdy got its Gen 5 buff, so... I guess since it's not really a remake, but more of like a remaster, I guess... A lot of the Onyxes in the original just didn't have Sturdy. So that's why a lot of these rock Pokemon don't even have it. I imagine that might be why. Another Onyx. Does this one have Sturdy? I imagine if one of them doesn't even have it, that I imagine if the first two don't have it, then this third one shouldn't. And okay, I was correct, Amundo. You got me feeling down. And I guess I can unplug my laptop now since it's been charging for about two hours. I'm just working on a Nuzlocke that I've been doing. But I just haven't really been progressing in it that much just because, I don't know. And in case you're wondering, it's a hard gold one, so that's kind of why it's been slow because 
the heart gold level curve is really awkward because of the Kanto post game. I'm just nuzlocking um, the main game because I already did Kanto. Pokemon Gym isn't about only about how seeing. A Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon happen to be. It's so much deeper than that. It's just a, it's a test of you as a person. Worker Gary. In case you're wondering, I'm probably going to end up using Whopper for like most of the gym. I feel like I might replace Whopper later on, like a little bit down the line, because Quagsire, although its type is really good, I don't... Unless you're a particular kind of person, or a very particular person who really wants to use Quagsire on their team, it's not really the greatest Pokemon, so I'm just... The only, the only reason I'm really using it is because I like Wooper and Quagsire. That move was devastating. <laughs> I think this is the right way? It might be. Nope. It's been a little bit since I've been in this gym, so... Ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. Ace Trainer Caesar! All I know is that that's a JoJo reference, but I haven't watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Wait, that's not even a steel type. Why do you have a Skaroopy? Toxic is going to be annoying though, so I'm definitely going to want to heal it with a poison healing barrier or something. Pin missile, uh... Watch it hit twice. It's, of course, it's, oh, it hit twice! <laughs> Petra Berry, that's cool. Ice Fang, that's... Okay. About to say, that's gonna do quite a bit of damage. This is as long as you have, like, a special... Or a super effective special water-type move, you should be good. Otherwise, the Steelixes are probably going to be really threatening. Wow, I'm in the mood to sing a lullaby. <laughs> okay. Uh, this. I think there are two more trainers in here? Uh, I know that you battle one immediately if you go the wrong way. Never mind. Okay, you're the right way, but what about over here? Okay. People in Pokemon have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. You have two Pokemon. For some reason, I thought that said Weirdo Gerardo. <laughs> you're challenged by Weirdo Gerardo. Sure, if anyone out there watching my video happens to be named Gerardo, you're not weird. Unless you purposely want to be. Sometimes I am also purpose purposefully weird. Anyways. Whopper, go to level 37. Yeah, see, you can really tell how the Gen 4 games kind of 
like, screwed themselves over with such a limited Pokedex. I'm glad that at least Platinum decided to introduce a bunch of Pokemon that should have been in the original games. Sinnoh Dex kind of bothers me, and it bothers me even more that they didn't even... Okay, I guess they kind of did fix it with the, the Grand Underground, but like, they could have at least... Or, like, they should have at least kept the Platinum encounters above ground and maybe add a couple more Pokemon to the Underground. So at least the trainers above ground can have more diverse Pokemon rather than just, Oh wait, we ran out of Steel types, use Onix. And that's Groupy. I literally have no idea why that was even there. Spectacular loss, but it's still a loss. It's whatever, I guess. I think you're the last trainer. Oh yeah, we're coming out swinging with super heavy ju judo chops. Not Jodo, that's the other game that happened to come out in Gen 4. Oh look, an Onyx, not a Steel type. After you, okay, Screech might be a bit of an issue, but after you like, learn how unthreatening Onyx really is, it just, like, you just you don't even care that you're fighting an Onyx. I remember I used to be like a bit worried going up against Onyx back when I like, first played the game. And then I learned how bad it is and just... Yeah, now it's just a joke. Steelix is still kind of threatening, but... Again, Surf just destroys it. Not to mention that like, a lot of these Pokemon that could potentially have Sturdy just don't. I guess that would be annoying with all the Pokemon that could potentially have Sturdy, actually, so maybe it's for the best. That was a complete thrashing. Or trashing? For some reason, I didn't read that fast enough. I was just, just got tired and decided not to read that entire word. Oh, well. Oh, there's another trainer. Okay, then. By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Okay, let's see what kind of steel types you have. Oh, you only have one Pokemon. Okay, so I guess... Uh... Why? Oh my god. Okay, I didn't think it would do that much damage for some reason, but... Oh, okay. Still on a steel type, but I guess this would be a better time than ever. Try out Alice in the Rose Raid. There she is, and all of her beauty. Had a feeling you had an Iron Tail. You had to have some sort of steel type move. No matter. Giga Drain! Absolutely obliterated. Obliterated. Should heal me back up completely. Yes. Oh my god, she's gonna be the destroyer of worlds now. <laughs> my focus was too narrow minded. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's one thing to focus on one type, it's another thing to focus on one Pokemon in particular. Oh well. Uh, this should take us up to Byron. Uh, I want to send a thing to my friends, because there's a certain meme we have uh, like between us that involves this. This shot right here. Anyways, I'm going to go heal, so I'll be right back. And I made it back. Okay, so I made it to Byron. That's Orbrick's gym badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my son. But that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, 
We'll accept your challenge. All right, so Byron, the Steel-type gym leader, has three Pokemon in his possessions. Leads off at the level 36 Bronzor with Levitate for its ability, not holding an item. And it has Confuse Ray, Sandstorm, Trick Room, and Flash Cannon. And I just realized I wanted to leave with Jackie Chan. Oh, well. I'll make this work. Anyways, his next Pokemon is a level 36 Steelix with Sturdy for the ability. And it's holding Soft Sand. And oh, this is not going to be good. Uh, yep, you're using Trick Room. So this makes... This kind of switches around the speed stat, so... The higher your speed stat is, the slower you'll be. Uh, I'll put you to sleep. Okay. Uh, so level 36 Steelix with Sturdy for the ability, has holding a soft sand with Sandstorm, Earthquake, Thunderfang, and Gyro Ball. And I'll go over his ace once he sends it out. Ooh, Sandstorm's not gonna be fun. Okay. But his Bronzor gets to go to sleep, so there's that. Flamethrower! Oh, this is gonna be so annoying. Your Bronzor is down. Steelix, so I'm gonna switch into Whopper. I guess Steelix could potentially be a good counter for Gyarados, since Gyarados is more of a physical attacker and Steelix is an even more of uh, a physical wall. This might do a lot of damage. Okay. That is, oh my god, that wasn't even sturdy. Okay, now we get to go first again. Mm, you're using a full restore, you dingus. Have we even seen full restores yet? I don't think we have. It's an item that heals your Pokemon completely and also cures any status conditions. What, oh, now you're using a hyper potion? Oh wow, we're getting real tough here. I guess the good thing is that now he won't be able to heal his ace Pokemon. And there goes a Sandstorm. Okay. Shouldn't have any more potions. Yep, okay. I'll produce Surf and down goes Steelix. Whopper, Sushi, and Liberty level up. Uh, wait, who wants to learn Hydro Pump? Here it is. Uh, no. I know it's a powerful move, but again, Sushi's more of a physical attacker. Byron's about to send in Bastiodon. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. His ace Pokemon, level 39 Bastiodon with Sturdy for the ability, holding a Citrus Berry with Iron Defense, Thunderbolt, Stone Edge, and Flash Cannon. So it's a good thing that Whopper is also a ground type, so it won't be able to use Thunderbolt against us. And yeah, I kind of talked about Shieldon before. Bastiodon's the evolution. So this thing, saying this thing is a good wall is the understatement of the century. Probably one of the best walls you can have in the game. But it lacks attack. Even then, it still hits really hard. Yeah, I imagine Aqua Tail is going to do like no damage.
Not done yet. There's no giving up. Alright, Whopper, surf. And I believe that's the battle. Huzzah! This was a crit. Jackie Tran grew to level 43. You defeated Gym Leader Byron. Hmm. <laughs> My sturdy Pokemon. Defeated. Uh, I get it, because two of your three Pokemon have sturdy. You were so you were strong enough to take down my prized team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. Wait, when did my badges get cleaned? The heck? You received the Mind Badge from Byron. Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the hidden move strength from your Poketch anytime. You now have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you without question. Here, take these two. You obtain the stickers that Byron uses. You obtain TM91s. Each TM91 contains the move Flash Cannon. If it hits, it may also lower the target's special defense. So, a pretty good special skill type move. And I might potentially put that on Liberty just because Gyro Ball doesn't have that much PP. And I know Steel isn't the best offensive type, but still could be reliable potentially. And are we gonna get sucked into a cutscene? Yes, I had a feeling. Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're even you're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champion. Of course I'm tougher, but that's not actually gonna happen. Anyway, Gabe, come with me to the library. Meow. And we'll do that next episode. So next time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, we'll follow Harvey to the library to see what research we have to do since we were told that we should research uh, the Legends of Sinnoh there. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.